hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i am going to be showing you how to install raspberry pi on your android device i'm going to be guiding you from the installation process to the setup process and the customization so it is important to watch this video from beginning to the end to see how this is done without making a mistake and um, if you're finding this channel for the first time we upload videos on linux tutorials ethical hacking and programming if you're interested in this niche, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to be notified whenever we upload a new video. And um, without wasting much of your time, let us get to the video. So welcome back. Um, I'm assuming you have installed Tamox by now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to update your Tamox repositories. You do that with the pkg updates command and after updating Tamox, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install query industry. Now to install Peru distro, you're going to use the pkg install Peru distro command. And now that Peru distro has been installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit a custom installation script for Raspberry Pi. Okay, to do that, you're going to be using the command shown on your screen right now. Okay, you're going to paste this command and then you're going to exit. And after that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Raspberry Pi. To install Raspberry Pi, you're going to use the command Peru distro install raspberry pi okay and now you're going to click on enter and then that command is going to install raspberry once raspberry is installed you're going to log into raspberry with the command period distro login raspberry pi okay and that is going to log us into the cli interface of raspberry pi all right my terminal is not looking that beautiful as you can see the root and local host there is showing in the white color so you're going to follow the step I'm following right now to change the color of that, you know, root at localhost. So you're going to remove the bash rc file and you're going to, you know, um, copy a new bash rc file there and that is going to change the color as you can see right here. So now that you've done this, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to update the Raspberry Pi repositories. Do that with the apt update command. And once the repository is up to date, you're going to install the XFCE GUI interface. You're going to be doing that with the commands on the screen right now and i'm going to be pasting those commands in the description below so go to the description and copy those commands from there and after that you're going to install um raspberry pi wallpapers okay so i've already created all of this in a custom command that you can just you know copy and paste in a single click so make sure you check the description as i'm going to be pasting all of these commands in the description check the description and copy the commands from there okay now after installing the wallpapers the next thing we're going to do is uh we are going to remove gvfs daemon okay and um we're going to hold the U disk too you're going to do that with the command chain on your screen and um all of the commands in the is in the description below so just copy them from there and after that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom login command for our vnc server okay now all of the commands you're looking at here is going to you know create a custom command to log into the vnc server and um give it executable permission all right i'm going to be pasting this in the description also so just go there and copy it from there and um you're going to log into vsc server with the server command remember if you're entering the server command for the first time it is going to request for a password make sure you use a password you can easily remember okay now that that has been done the next thing we're going to do is you're going to launch your vnc application in my case i'm using the net on application so you're going to fill in the information and then you're going to click on connect okay and that is going to connect you to raspberry pi gui interface okay now the gui interface isn't looking that very beautiful the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the wallpaper okay to do that you're going to right click on your screen and you're going to click on desktop settings okay and if you've clicked on desktop settings it is going to show you you know some pretty ugly wallpapers you're going to click on others you're going to click on orders okay in the folder menu you're going to click on order and um you're going to locate background now that you've located background you're going to locate the bed wallpapers okay and now that you've located the bed wallpapers you're going to click on open you're going to click on open and um, that is going to show you a list of very cool wallpapers that i myself you know i'm um, downloaded and saved okay so you're going to choose from this wallpapers anyone that you know you prefer but for me i prefer this wallpaper that has the you know raspberry logo in it so and um, i'm going to do a few customizations if you're not you know if you don't 
really care about customization so you can just easily skip this part okay but if you want to see how i customized mine you can keep watching the video but as for me i'm going to stop recording now and um, after the customization i'm going to begin again So that is it with the customization okay and um, as you can see it is just basically you know a uh, raspberry pi interface on your android phone okay um the internet connection is working as you have installed firefox exr along with the gui interface earlier so um this is basically how you install a um, raspberry pi on your android phone okay so testing the terminal now the terminal is pretty much working okay and um let's try you know running a simple new fetch command to see that this is actually raspberry pi running on an android phone as you can see it says raspberry pi running on a techno mobile okay and down to the most important aspect of this video please it is always important to kill your pnc server to avoid the connection errors i always mention this in all of my videos always kill your pnc server kill it to the pnc server dash q ratio one command um that is going to be all for this video thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye